Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Experience channel. In this session, I am going to discuss solenoid valve operation. I am going to discuss the how the solenoid valve operates. I will take the first what is solenoid valve and what are its functions, how it works and later we will take the animation of the working of solenoid valve. Later, we will take the applications, advantages and disadvantages of the solenoid valve. A solenoid valve controls fluid flow using an electromagnet that is called solenoid. That, when energized, creates a magnetic field moving a plunger or armature to open or close the valve, allowing or preventing fluid passage. Basic components and function First is a solenoid, an electromagnet consisting of a coil of wire and a ferromagnetic core that is plunger or a armature. Hall body contains the ports for fluid inlet and outlet and the hall seat where the plunger or armature seals to control flow. Operation de-energize the state. The solenoid is not energized and the plunger or armature is held in its original position, usually closed by a spring or other mechanism. Energize the state. When the electrical current flows through the solenoid coil, a magnetic field is created, attracting the plunger or armature, which then moves to open the valve allowing fluid flow. Further, the energized state reaching, when the current stops, the magnetic field collapses and the spring or other mechanism returns the plunger or armature to its original position, closing the valve and stopping the flow. This is the animation of the solenoid valve operation. It consists of the electrical energy supply, 24 volt DC and it consists of the solenoid that is a coil okay, and the core that is a plunger or a armature. Whenever the electricity is supplied, this solenoid will be get magnetized and due to that magnetization, it will be forces this plunger or armature to move. Okay, that is a moving taking place and by that when the hall ports which are there, those will be opens and closes. And when the solenoid in the energized state, during that time, the flow is taking place to the rod and side, the retraction will be taking place and the flow from the other side, piston side, that will go to the tank. And later, by the spring action, next position when the solenoid get de-energized. The plunger or armature moves to its positional position by the spring action. And here the spring can be used any other method. Here also we can use the solenoid or any other method by mechanical or any other method we can use for the normal position. During that position, the piston side the fluid flows and the <coughs> here piston side when it fluid flows, the extension of the piston will be taking place like this. Okay, that one in the operation by this one, the number of ports, what are there based on that, which type of this hall we are going to use to operate, we are going to take. This is the uh, the four-way wall. There are the four ports which are used there. The five ports are there. Four-way halls are is used for the this animation of the this solenoid hall operation. The types of solenoid halls, normal, normally open, NO, it is called. The valve is open when the solenoid is de-energized and the close is when energized. Normally closed, NC, the valve is closed when the solenoid is de-energized and the opens when energized. Two-way has two ports, inlet and outlet for simple on off control this is a very simple valve three way valve has three ports allowing for switching 
flow directions and controlling multiple paths four way valve has four ports used for more complex fluid control applications and these three types of valves already i have discussed in some other sessions you can refer those applications fluid control controlling the fluid flow of the fluids gases and even steam industrial automation automating processes in manufacturing and heating ventilation and the air conditioning systems hvac and other industries domestic applications dishwashers washing machines and gas stoves hydraulic systems controlling pressure and flow in the hydraulic systems advantages fast switching solenoid valve valves can be open and close quickly making them suitable for applications requiring requiring rapid control a remote control can be operated remotely via electrical signals to supply the electricity or uh, cutting the electricity supply Com compact design relatively small and compact making them suitable for space constrained applications reliable generally reliable and durable disadvantages power consumption require the electrical power to operate which can be disadvantage in some applications limited pressure capacity some solenoid valves may have limitations on the maximum pressure they can handle cost can be more expensive than the other types of the valves the other controlling of the system of the valves are there compared to that its cost will be more this is about the solenoid valve operation commonly it is used in the hydraulic systems and pneumatic systems and here the how those applications are there and later i can take in the further sessions thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment